Hello everyone, it's Raja and Raven and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review! We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage season 16 of This week, another design challenge, one of your favorites. It is goth inspired. See you next Wednesday was the theme. All of the colors that, they had, that the contestants had to use were either in black, gray, touches of white, everything that's kind of goth. Once a goth, always a goth. A lot of our drag has a lot of goth inspiration. We and lean into the darkness. So this is something I think we would both love to do. I don't know if you knew this about me, but I'm, I'm all about the drama. I would have needed something that draws upon the darkness of like ghouls and hell, but also with the sophistication of corsetry. Give me the pile of trash bags and I will give you uh, an outfit. Catch an all new episode Friday on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Go to dragrace.wowpresentsplus.com or click the link below to see if season 16 is available in your territory. Let us know who your top two is in the comments below. Like and subscribe. So we have eight contestants left. Please don't f this one up either. You know, I get very emotional about these things, especially in the goth scene. Like I wanna see some like Dainese Mugler goth, Susie and the Banshees. I wanna see just all variations of it. This is the third design challenge mm -hmm. this season so far. They're gonna bring it. I just know it. And if not, I'm gonna let them have it. Category is see you next Wednesday. First, we bring to the stage Plain Jane. I love the punkiness, the straps, the chains. It all fits her beautifully. Her hair looks fantastic. Her makeup looks great. I love the hair, the structure of that hair. It's gorgeous. The little chains with the ribbons. It's kind of like, we've seen it and it's been done. It's done well. It looks nice. The outfit definitely says goth to me. It has all the elements. It's got the whips, it's got the chains, it's got the things trailing, it's black. It's not anything that I'd be like, oh my God, she made that. She's corseted, she's got a good thigh high boot, which back in my day. Back when I was growing up as a goth, a thigh high boot was a must in black. All the elements are there and I give her a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage Maya Iman LePage. Oh, this one should speak to you. The I love the, the shoulder pads. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A nice vinyl dress. Yeah. And then she turns around and it's just this lace. It looks like there might be some stones or some sequin in there too, because it's got some shimmer. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. nice, it's a nice clean look. Mm -hmm. I like the, that she's got these chokers stacked on there. And of mm -hmm. course I love the addition of the ravens. Mm -hmm. You've pointed out all the really important pieces of it, the vinyl, the trumpety skirt, all of that. It's giving us Horticia. I think she looks great. The ravens are a little small, but that's yeah. probably what she got, you know? Yeah. So they're kind of like painted pigeons. It's all of the things goth and you put a little bit more drag on it. Yes. And then you get my Emma on the page. What makes it interesting is the fact that when she turns around, it's like see-through. Totally. That's what makes it like, oh, okay, this is more than just a vinyl dress. Yeah, which I love a vinyl dress. I do too. Which reminds me, I need, I need a vinyl dress. If anybody's out there, I need a black vinyl dress. I give her a two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage Dawn. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. She is a walking chandelier. I love the sculptural elements to it. I love that it's completely, completely out of the box. The headpiece with the things at the yeah. plumes or whatever those are. And I find it interesting. I love the sculptural elements of this. I love that it's not just the typical. Uh, the first two girls yeah. we saw just did like punk. And the other one was like, I'm Morticia. Yeah. And then this one's like, I'm a whole other creature from hell. And um, she looked gorgeous. She's giving that Mugler element that I haven't seen yet. So mm -hmm. I live for it. I love her makeup. This time around, I really like her ears, although I think the ears are kind of like yawn. 
Yawn Dawn. Yawn Dawn. I mean, like, you know, I get it. That's her signature. But like, there's a lot of people who have that as a signature. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This time it goes. It definitely yeah. goes. She is some sort of beastly something from Netherworld. Yeah. And I love that the plumes that she's got on her head have also been incorporated mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the tears on that skirt. Beautiful. And the way it moves. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could yeah. lose the, the little shawl, the little wrap. It didn't need it. Yeah. It's inventive. It's interesting. And those are the things that I'm looking for in a creative challenge like this, where it had to be made on set. This is a mother two. An absolute two. Next, we bring to the stage Morphine Love Dion. Oh, yes. I live. See, if you're going to give goth and you're going to have the mermaid trumpet skirt, let it drag behind you. Yes. Goth is drama. Bring us drama. She's giving us Mugler. Look at that fierce makeup. The hair looks fantastic. And girls always want to go symmetry. And she was like, no, this is gonna go this way. And then there's gonna be a few more on this side. The choice of fabric, where she placed the mm -hmm. fabric. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of times people wanna do this thing coming off the side somewhere. Uh -huh. It's always done in a place where it looks like, mm. Mm -hmm. Like, why is it there? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is put in the correct spot where it mm -hmm. accentuates her shape, doesn't obstruct the, the silhouette. So. I think she looks gorgeous. Yeah. She understood the assignment and she looks fantastic. Her glove even has spikes on the top of it. Two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage plasma. Mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can see what she was trying to do because there are certain parts of this that I'm like, oh, I, I really like this, I really like that. If she made this thing, mm -hmm. wow. But like the Victorian collar with the beads, there's too many different things going on in one for it to be a like solid look. I always love the color combination of black and white. It looks like she manages a, like a hot topic. She looks like she can't even manage to get herself ready. There you the go. Here's the thing, it lacks a vision. It is someone who probably has no idea what goth style is. She needed to take a couple of the things off. And I don't even think that would have helped. It really makes me question her sense of style and styling and editing. A black wig parted down the middle does not a goth chick make. It's giving me first time in drag at a rave. That's the emotion that I feel. The white belt is really distracting to me. I find the pants interesting. I don't I, uh, no. pants. I would have done something more like tight, leggings, extreme. No, Mary. I do like no, her shoes. I think they're cute, but mm -hmm. no. Mm -mm. I'm going to give her a boot. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Safira Cristal. Oh, I don't necessarily love her presentation of it. Like, why go on there and look like you're totally over it and eye rolling when you're in this beautiful gown and checked off all of the things needed in the, in the assignment. But, you know, the presentation of it is like, yeah, okay, I'm here. Okay, oh, okay here's let's my, go. Here's yeah. thing. That was the character she was feeling, like over at goth. There's nothing to be over in this. This is a beautifully made look. I love it. I think it's interesting. I think it's very different than what anyone else has provided. Yep. She always brings it with the makeup. I like that mullety kind of Oh, you know, bitch, I love her hair. That hair. The only thing I don't like is this weird bunch of black fabric it looks like it's just sticking out of the front. I wish it were flowing better inside the dress mm -hmm. instead of just kind of looks like it plopped on top. I mean, if she would have put that little piece of fabric on the shoulder so it like kind of poofs out this way and capes over the back of her shoulder, she fits into this, her silhouette. She gets a two. Two. Next to the stage, we bring Nymphia Wind. Uh, Oh, she's veiled. Ooh, I live. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. This is this how it's done. This would be Morticia's wedding dress. Lacy and beautiful and just a little tighter than normal, but there's little things pinned upon it and flowing off of it. But that veil with the feathers and then the lace, and then she still just barely peeks out from under it. I don't even see Morticia in this. I see this as a as a guest at, at the Adams Family party. She's perhaps the girl that Gomez uh, was in love with before Morticia. 
and shows up at the party. Or she's the girl that Gomez is sleeping with behind Morticia's back. <laughs> I don't care. This bitch understood it. It has so many qualities to it that are interesting. The scooting along in tiny little movements. That's my favorite part, the little like scooty walk. Yeah. Very, very, very sexy, very beautiful. The sleeve. Very fashiony. The headpiece. You know, I love shit on my head. I love that. Why wasn't there more of that? Safira came out and was like over it. And this one was like, I am into it. Yeah. Look what I made. Uh -huh. I feel fierce, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna just saunter. Not even saunter, I'm gonna scoonter. Toot. It's a toot. Next we bring to the stage, Q. Oh la la, bitch. See, drama volume. She's giving us this harlequin clown. She's spooky. A few of the girls actually went for the black they all went. White. They all went all black. This is fantastic. I would live in this. I would wear this to get some uh, organic grapes at Air One. And then the huge bow on the back. Oh my God, go in, bitch. And the little swirly on the head and the baldness. It is giving Uncle Fester in drag. I don't know what the f this is supposed to be, but it is very, very exciting. I love the graphic nature of it. And ultimately the drama, the drama, the drama, the volume, the train. And it's Slow. lined. She made this in a day, mm -hmm. but all the additions of the bows on the wrist, the mm -hmm. big bow on the back, and then to open it up and there's more bows inside. And the little bunches of florets Dunning. around her that are kind of stacked everywhere. It is so stylish, so fashionable, so well done, and the makeup looks beautiful. She turned this look. Out! Yo! Out! Get out! It doesn't give me life, it gives me death. What would you expect from a girl that knows how to sew? You wouldn't get so what? This bitch knew how to actually make and construct an idea out of her head that turned out impeccable. Q is a visionary. I give this look a toot. Toot. Trend alert! Black hair. Black hair. You know. Raven hair. Jet pitch. Black. Slick. Black hair, don't care. Oh yeah? The blacker the hair, the closer you are to hell. We'll go with that. Our, Our top, top two of the week is, is Q! Yes, God! Oh, she went bitch. in, bitch! She went she in, drama. in. Living for Q. Catch an all-new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16, Friday on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, watch on WOW Presents Plus. Bye!